Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Praise from my audience. I want you guys to know I get to talk to Rebecca Madsen today from United Healthcare. Rebecca, thank you for joining us. Give us some information during the, these stressful times that can kind of help my audience uh, uh, be more informed. Absolutely. Well, we know, especially now more than ever, having a good health plan is really important. And we're heading into what we call open enrollment season. So if you're in an employer-based plan, Medicare, or a state-based exchange for about six weeks in the next coming months, you have an opportunity to pick your health plan for the coming year. So spending a little bit of time not checking a box is important now more than ever. Okay. You know, it's going to get crazy. Uh, I've already started getting stuff in the mail, uh, you know, about uh, Medicare decisions and all of these kinds of things. How do we find, how do we mine this information, Rebecca? How can we make, we make sense of all of this information? Well, there's three things that you can look at as a way to start. First is look at changes in your own life. Not only what's happened during COVID-19, but are you planning a procedure? Are you taking different medications? Are you healthier? Are you sicker? And make sure you write that down and just take an assessment of where you are in your own life that may dictate the plan that you're looking at. The second is cost. Don't only look at the premium, that's the amount you pay every month for your health insurance, but also look at the deductible. That's the amount that you pay out of pocket before your health plan kicks in. And a lot of people get cost surprises because they're not paying attention to the deductible. And then making sure you look at coverage. You want as many of your providers or your medications to be on what we call in-network or on the formulary. And so make sure that you look at not only yourself, but your family, what providers you see, what medications you take, and the plan you're choosing. And even if you have the same plan as you did last year, things change from year to year on the plan. So make sure you look at that so that you can manage your costs for the upcoming year. Today, I'm speaking with Rebecca Madsen. She's the Chief Consumer Officer of United Healthcare. Rebecca, uh, I, I'm heard also on social media and FM platform, and I have a question from social media. And the question is, if my doctor prescribes something after I choose my uh, plan and he can't get it on formulary, how am I supposed to pay for that? So a great opportunity is to meet with your doctor. We have something called pre-check my script that in the doctor's office, before you leave the office, because we know 44% of people leave the office never knowing what their medication is going to cost. And this is a tool that enables the doctor to actually see your formulary, pull up your formulary real time, and be able to choose a medication that's on the formulary so you'll know the cost when you leave the doctor's office. So ask your doctor. And if you find that you go to fill a prescription Description, and it's exactly like the situation you said, where it's more expensive or not on the formulary or brand and not generic. You don't have to fill that right away. Call your doctor's office, explain the situation. They can look up the formulary and usually um, prescribe a therapeutically equivalent medication. Okay, I think prescriptions must be a hot topic because I have another one from social media. This one comes from Instagram. They want to know when they have to take a medically necessary drug and it's not covered, will the plan cover it? So there's so it's a complicated question, and usually what you need to do is you need to call your insurance carrier, speak with the pharmacy department, and there's usually something called a prior authorization where your provider works with the insurance plan to explain why it's medically necessary from a clinical basis. So make sure you do that very early on, and then if it is medically necessary, then you get a, what's called a prior approval, and it would be covered by the plan. Well, Rebecca, I say we give my, my uh, audience an A. They know more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> they seem very informed, for sure. They seem very informed. But United Healthcare is, it, like you said, it's time for the enrollment. Once again, what do we, how do we get started, and how can it be so not con overwhelming, Rebecca? Absolutely. So we know it can be overwhelming and about a quarter of people just check the box and don't even pay attention during open enrollment. Some things your population can think of looking for are wellness programs. We know being well now is more important than ever. And not only can you get coverage and help you get healthier, but you can often get incentives. So a walking program. We have a walking program. If you have Medicare Advantage, they often have walking programs where you can earn money 
just for doing things that keep you healthy. We also know during COVID-19, a lot of people have been home, they've been snacking. About 30% of people say their diet's gotten worse. And they can look for programs. We have one, for example, called Real Appeal, where they can look for weight loss programs. And for participating in those programs, earn incentives. So look for wellness programs. Another thing they can look for is specialty benefits, vision and dental. They're often really inexpensive and not just good for your eyes and your teeth, but when you look in your eyes, you can see things such as diabetes, in addition to looking for things like glaucoma. And when you look in your mouth and a dentist does a full evaluation, oral health is linked to heart health. So that's another way to have a great benefit that's often inexpensive. Rebecca, this has been very, very good for my listening audience and for me also, too. So I want to thank United Healthcare and you for this information. Once again, where does my audience go online? They can go to a website, uhcopenenrollment.com. There's helpful information. There's tips, some of what we've covered today, and some more information to help make the process as easy as possible. Rebecca Madsen, I want to thank you once again. And I told you guys, she's the Chief Consumer Officer of United Healthcare. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks for having me. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.